Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Elixir, and today, you know, we're gonna be we're, we gotta we gotta talk, bro. We gotta f talk. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut that cuss word out because uh, YouTube don't like to play around. I joined a game in progress, unfortunately. So we got another live com, but you know, what I want to talk about I want to talk about this Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight, man, because I stayed up all night for that, shit, bro. I I mean I I, wa I watched that. Shit. It, it, started the, the the thing started at what eight the event itself but like let's be real bro that uh, did the fight didn't even start until like what 10 or 11 or something like that and even then bro yeah it went the distance it went the distance you know i gotta give my i'll, I'll give my props to that bro like you, you did a rounds with someone that's like what 30 something years younger than you that's crazy like props to you bro i hope to be doing that like lasting that long uh, maybe not in the ring, but maybe in bed or something at that age, but you get what I'm saying. Anyways, um, it, no, nah, it, it was crazy, bro. I, you know, they built up so much hype for this fight, you know, and, you know, I was like, dude, where about I see Iron Mike in, like, modern day? Yeah, he's old, yeah, but, I, I, like, I was genuinely worried for his health and everything, um, because you just never know, man. He's old, he's older, he's definitely older, and, um... I was I was actually very surprised uh, at the, by some training videos that were put out. Like I'll throw some up on the on the video for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. And then you know, and then came the fight, bro. What happened? What happened? Bro just dropped the ball. What? It, it was not the same mic. That was not the same mic. So uh, I'll try and find this video um, while I'm here and I'm thinking about it. But there was this actual video of um this guy going over the like he was looking at the rules of the fight basically like if either one of them knocked each other out in the very beginning they wouldn't eat another none of them would get paid so they couldn't knock each other out like too early on um and there uh, that's the only bit that i did see before like you know twitter refresh because i was sitting there on the fucking shitter um before and I opened up Twitter and then it refreshed and then it disappeared. So I wasn't able to actually like see what was going on. Yo, what's going on boys? It's it's Alex and editing. But uh, I actually did find the video and I'm just going to go ahead and play for you guys. Uh, I'll lower the sound because it is a little loud. But yeah, here's the video that I found. And this is what I was talking about. Y'all seen the rules for this fight, bro? This is clearly red. Look at this. So first of all, Mike Tyson's gonna get paid more money to lose than to win. Secondly, he is penalized for knocking out Jake Paul in the first round. And he's only gonna get paid a little bit of money if he knocks him out in his second round. So to make the most money, he has to survive all eight rounds while avoiding knocking Jake out. And on top of that, it has to go to decision, but the problem is Jake Paul chose the judges. This is crazy red, bro. If I'm Mike Tyson, I don't give I'm gonna just knock Knock him out anywhere. Please, just do it. Oh, is that a nebula? Oh, I thought that gun had nebula. I wanted to check that out. Anyways, um, but yeah, and I was like, wait, that's that's so stupid. They wouldn't even get that. And you know, a lot of people were saying like, Mike just did this for the money because he's in debt and whatnot. Um, and you know, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. I don't know. I'm not pocket watching. Some people do be doing that though. I'm not the type to do that, you know. But I think um, I think that fight was just a, a a little odd, you know. The way like there was time, there was like a time like Mike really started to pressure uh, Jake, and I was like, oh oh, it's about to get good now. Like you know, Mike Mike is having second wind. He's waking up or something, and that just was not the case, bro. That was not the case. It's like. It's like he, he started to get some ground and get some put some pressure on and then he just just stopped, bro. Just stop. Just stop. You know? And I and I was like, what the just sitting there like flabbergasted. Um kinda reminds me of that time. Oh man, I gotta figure out which fight it was. There was a time that John Jones came on. I think it was his like first fight in a while back in the UFC. And I mean he just he just knocked him out and knocked that person out in the first round. I forget what UFC it was. Um, this was back like I think June, maybe a little um, later than that. Th earlier this year, in 2024, if that's when you're watching. But yeah, I was like, man, we really like 
waited for all of this, bro? This is what we came up with? Or this is like what uh, happened? And um, I was very surprised. I was just very surprised that uh, the way that the fight turned out is the way that the fight turned out, you know? And <clears throat> sorry, I got to clear my throat. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next map. Hold on. All right, we're back. Where was I? Where was I? I was talking about the fight. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, like, that was not the mic that we were seeing in training, bro. And I don't think, I'm going to be honest, I'm not, a, I'm not a big Jake Paul guy. I never have been, never really was a fan of the Paul brothers, to be honest, especially Logan. Um, but, you know, I really don't even think that was, like, the full Jake out there. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't even think that was the full Jake, but... I don't think he really wanted to go full because I know he, I, I mean, at the end of the day, he knows he's fighting a 58 year old man. Um, since, you know, he can't really face his own kind of age, uh, <clears throat> Tommy Fury, but, you know, it is what it is. Wow, I'm getting smacked down right now. But, no, seriously, man. Like, I think a lot of the, I think both of them were really pulling, pulling their punches from each other. I was like, making, I was very surprised. You know what I mean? It just did not seem like a genuine fight. They, I won't lie, they got their bag. They got their bag. I can't, I can't hate on them for that. But what, what, what I can hate on them for, is, um, it's kind of like pulling the entertainment. You know what I mean? Not giving us like top notch. You know, we we got some good fights and everything that night, especially that Serrano fight. That Serrano fight was, it, it was nice, bro. That was a good fight from, from her. Um, too bad what had happened. I don't know how she lost by a point, but somehow she did. Um, I feel really bad for her. Especially after she got headbutted and her eye got cracked open and everything, or cut open. Like, uh, so was, those judges were some bullshit, I won't lie. But, anyways. That's a different kind of fight, but that, that, it's just kind of sad, man. Because it's like, damn, that's, that's really what we got, you know, and, um... You know, there's people that pay $2 million for a seat, bro. I don't know if you've seen it. It was kind of stupid, what you get, but... Let me, I'll, I'll try and find the, the tweet for it, but... I was like, no fucking shot, bro. I feel... I don't... I, what am I trying to say here? Like, I feel bad that they spent $2 million hoping for, like, you know, Mike Tyson, if that's what they were hoping for, type, type thing. And then that's the kind of fight that they get. You know what I mean? But then... I'm also like... I just realized this might actually be a safer take right here. Um, what was I saying? But then I realized, like, at that point, like, they got so much money, I don't think that really matters to them. Uh, I doubt anybody's spending, saving up their whole life to go set a $2 million seat for a fight. You know what I mean? I doubt that's happening. But... Yeah, man. Like, I think, um, I think it's, it's kind of shitty how it turned out and, like, the performances of the two. Definitely think, uh, there was something going on behind the scenes there because, uh, that was not normally for that, that, especially with all that shit they were talking to each other. And after that, that slap from Mike Tyson the night before, I, I, I was just like, damn, all right. Um, Mike still got it in him, right? He still got that, he still got that dog in him, you know what I mean? Um, but, and nah, man, it just, it, that just was not the case. And when it came time to fight, like, when he walked out, even, like, just take a look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna throw this up right here for you guys. Take a look. Bro, he looked nervous walking out. I was telling my wife when we were watching, I was like, he seems a little, like, nervous, no? And, in my opinion, I think he was, a, like, maybe, because maybe he knew in the back of his head, like, this ain't really a real fight. Um... A real fight in terms of like you know going out there and really performing you know doing the job but i don't know man it just that fight like it sucks because we could have seen something great like really great couldn't even seen you know jake paul maybe get fucking knocked the hell out um which by the way mike tyson is the only person that has never that ha that didn't get knocked down by jake paul um Apparently, all of his other opponents have been knocked out or knocked down by Jake Ball, which I thought was quite surprising. 
Um. So yeah. So big props to, to Mike for that. Also for obviously standing up for eight minutes. I know I keep kind of repeating myself, but hey, I'm trying to process all this stuff. It's been a couple days I'm trying to think about it. You know what I mean? Like I gotta gotta give me some time to remember it. Remember the events. But for real though, that Serrano fight was definitely the best one of the night, which is kind of unfortunate because uh, we really should have been able to see Mike go all out. And it, it's, I think it's, um, it's an L if they, if the rules really set it up to be that way, where he, you know, they couldn't really do anything like that. I, I hate it when the, these TOs do that stuff, man. These tournament organizers do that kind of thing. Like, man, the, these guys are fighters, man. They're bona fide, you know, warriors. Let them, let them go out there and swing their fist and do their thing man like this is this is what they signed up to do this is what they want to do don't put obviously there are, there needs to be like regulations on it for health and uh so you, you know they may you don't kill somebody but come on bro like let's be real man it, it, this is it was some bullshit that fight but yeah let me know what you guys thought about that fight man i thought it was absolutely like lackluster truly unfortunate um the serrano fight was absolutely fire truly unfortunate for her too what had happened i think it's absolutely stupid how she uh lost that um but i'm not a judge i'm not a professional boxer analyst type deal or whatever but yeah um make sure you guys subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed the video dislike if you didn't comment down below what y'all thought about the fight um or i mean about the elder abuse check me out on twitch i stream every monday wednesday and friday that is slowing down at the moment, though, because the holidays are coming up and I'm moving houses. And uh, subscribe for Maple. Peace.